Hi, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory, and today I'm going to show you how to create a kit within Finale. And when you, uh, and also I'm going to show you when you sell that kit on an external marketplace like eBay or Amazon, using our ShipStation integration, I'm going to show you when those products are sold on those marketplaces, how the inventory levels are impacted within Finale. So the first thing we're going to do is essentially uh, create our our kit and in, in this example I've already created two child products and it's basically uh, bottles of uh, lavender shampoo and bottles of lavender conditioner as you see here there's 10 uh, 10 bottles of each so what we're going to do is essentially create a new product uh, that's the the parent product And I'm just going to name this the Lavender Shampoo Conditioner Bundle, just to be uh, very plain vanilla in terms of my description. And in the product, in the product details page, when you, we added this new section at the very bottom called the Bill Materials. And what the Bill Materials is is essentially listing the recipe, you know, what the kit is composed of. So how you create the the, uh, the Bill Materials essentially. Add a line and you add the product. In this case, it's the, the first product that's contained in this kit, you know, one bottle of lavender shampoo. And now we're going to add the conditioner. And that's it. After you create it, you scroll up and just hit save. And now we've created the kit. Let's just go back to the view stock to make sure it, it's entered correctly. And here we are. So we have 10 bottles of shampoo, 10 bottles of conditioner, and we have zero uh, uh, bottles of the bundle of the kit, if you will. And well, we'll see what happens when we sell that kit within uh, on eBay or Amazon. So let's go to ShipStation, and I went ahead and created a, a demo test order. But let's see what's in that test order so that way we can, we can uh, see the illustration. In this demo order, you know, essentially we have bought three of the kits. You know, so basically uh, each kit consists of one shampoo bottle and one conditioner bottle. And we decided just to buy three uh, kits since you know, it was such a great deal. So if we go back to Finale Inventory. And go back to the uh, ShipStation module by going to Add On Integrations and ShipStation, we should see the order. And there we go. Uh, so let's sync that order. So we, when we sync the order, that, trans that, that shipped order is coming down to Finale. And what we should see if we go to View Stock, since we bought three uh, of the kits, we should see the inventory decrement. And there we go. So for lavender shampoo and conditioner, if you remember, we we bought three kits, and each kit each kit consists of one bottle of shampoo and one bottle of conditioner. You see, the inventory got updated from ten to seven for each. So in this example, we learned how to create a kit, but also we went through an example of when that kit is sold on an external marketplace like eBay or Amazon. How the how the components of the kit or the child product products. Uh, inventory levels are are impacted. So, if you have any questions about kitting or the ShipStation integration in general, feel free to email us at service at finaleinventory.com. Again, it's service at finaleinventory.com, and we'll be happy to help and answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.